Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. We are back and we are ready for trivia. Kevin Mickey here with you hosting this week in the hosting chair, Jimmy Cordero, Santin Corelli, Nugnar Gang. Hi, everybody. I'm ready to present to you some trivia. The Slammies are back, everybody. For the first oh. time since... For the first time since 2015, we are going to get some Slammy Award winners. Oh the boy, 2020 oh edition set to take place on December 23rd of this year. So let's take a look back at some previous Slammy Awards. The very first Slammy Awards were in 1986. And now you probably know this as a way to help promote <laughs> the release of the wrestling album. Also kind of spoofing the Grammys at the same time. There was an award that year for Best Commentator. Who took home the award for best commentator? Was it A, Vince McMahon, B, Gorilla Monsoon, C, Jesse Ventura, or D, Mean Gene Okerlund? Who took home the award for best commentator in 1986 at the Slammys? A, Vince McMahon, B, Gorilla Monsoon, C, Jesse Ventura, D, Mean Gene Okerlund. Where is Scheme Gene? Ready? All right, folks, let's see those answers. Ventura, C. A lot of Ventura, one Gorilla Monsoon. The answer is Mean Gene. Ah, but he's not a kind of choice. He yeah, took he, the award. Yeah. I just laughed choice. that Vince McMahon was nominated. That's okay. Uh, I was surprised Vince didn't win it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no kidding. That's also a surprise, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. The technicality Actually, was not really a commentator. It's kind of more of a backstage correspondent, but whatever. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. So the score right now after one round is fun to fun to fun. A whole Zero. lot of fun. Stand back. 1997 was the last iteration of the Slammys for a while. There was two years of Slammys and then some years off and then a couple more years of the Slammys, the last year being 1997. Uh, 97, amazing year for wrestling, obviously. Which of the following won match of the year at the 1997 Slammys? Was it A, Sean versus Brett at WrestleMania 12? B, Stone Cold versus Brett at Survivor Series. C, Taker versus Mankind at SummerSlam. Or D, Sean versus Mankind at In Your House 10 Mind Games. So you have four options for match of the year. A, Sean versus Brett at Mania. B, Stone Cold versus Brett at Survivor Series. C, Taker versus Mankind at SummerSlam. D, Sean versus Mankind at In Your House. Let's see them, ladies and gentlemen. Sean versus Brett. Sean versus Mankind. The answer is HBK versus Bret Hart at WrestleMania 12. <laughs> wow. Anthony and Anthony's Jimmy on sitting on there top. Just jump in the lead. There you go. Well, interesting. Tied, interesting tied. through two, yeah. two, oh, two yeah, rounds. Tied. Nug jump trailing the, behind early on. Tied very, very, very interesting. Anyways, that was the, uh, the Iron Man match. That's one yes. match of the year. So the Slammys were finally brought back in 2008 with 14 categories and <laughs> Santino Morella was nominated for four separate awards that year, including couple of the year who won couple of the year in 2008. Was it a Santino and Beth Phoenix? Was it B edge and Vicky Guerrero? Was it C William Regal and Layla or was it D Finley and Hornswoggle. Who won couple of the year in 2008? Was it A, Santino and Beth Phoenix? If I get this wrong. <laughs> B, Edge and Vicky Guerrero. C, William Regal and Layla. D, Finley and Hornswoggle. Who was the best couple of 2008? Who was Santino and Morello? I'm oh, sorry. I, I think he's hey, related oh. to Santino. I'm not sure. Oh, that, oh, it's Santina's brother. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, that, no. I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Answers. Let's see them. Let's get. Let's get it. Edge, Vicky, Finley, Horn, Swoggle, Edge, Vicky. The answer was Edge and Vicky. Yes. Santino and Beth. I believe they were runner-up. At least that's how it was listed. Yeah. On a couple was, of different uh, sources. That I, I really, checked. I really was disappointed that we didn't win it. I thought it's just whatever. It's, it seemed like Still you were robbed that year. <clears throat> Edge, and, Edge and Vicky, that was just, just too easy. Almost like the fix was in. The fix yes. was in. There was, this okay. is the, the slammy screw job. That's what that is. 
All right, let's go to question number four. From 2009 to 2012, John Cena won Superstar of the Year three out of those four years, with the exception being 2011. He was a finalist, though, that year. Who was Superstar of the Year in 2011? A, Randy Orton. B, CM Punk. C, Mark Henry. D, The Miz. Who was Superstar of the Year in 2011, breaking up John Cena's hot streak? A, Randy Orton, B, CM Punk, <clears throat> C, Mark Henry, D, The Miz. John Cena, he was, John Cena, he was a hot John guy. John Cena. John Cena. Let's see those answers. Well, The Miz, The Miz, The Miz. The answer is CM Punk. CM Punk was oh, the star of the year in 2011. <clears throat> the Miz... And I guess he just wasn't able to wow. secure that. I thought that was around the time that Miz, uh, I hate saying the words, but main evented WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought that's what I was thinking too. I was trying to. Might have been 12 that he main evented WrestleMania. I'd have to double check. But anyways, it was CM Punk who was okay. Superstar of the Year. He's pretty good. He's uh, uh, okay. I, he's Heading into question number five, the scores are as oh, follows. Oh, Anthony are. and Jimmy knotted up at deuces. Ooh. Nug. A score of fun, because we're all having fun. There so this is, this is for all the marbles, or maybe we'll need the tie break. Who knows? Let's go. In the latest edition of the Slammies, that was 2015. <laughs> Seth Rollins. Oh, hold on, sorry. I'm getting, it's getting overwhelmed okay. with pressure okay, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Okay. Are we all ready? Take it. <clears throat> Hot flashes. We're okay? Okay. 2015, Seth Rollins took home Superstar of the Year. Rollins, he had the WWE Championship for a majority of that year before having to give it up due to injury. Uh, Roman Reigns captured the vacant belt at Survivor Series, but immediately lost that championship on a Money in the Bank catch-in. Who cashed in on Roman at Survivor Series? Was it A, Dean Ambrose, B, Randy Orton, C, Dolph Ziggler, D, Sheamus? Who cashed in on Roman at the Survivor Series in 2015? A, Dean Ambrose, B, Randy Orton, C, Dolph Ziggler, D, Sheamus. Got it. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Uh, but I'm going to guess. I got know, a that's, shot. That's completely fair. That's completely fair. You're okay. It's okay not to know. This is a safe space. My strategy us... finally paid off. Let us see oh, those oh, answers. I, I, I don't got it. I don't got it. I don't got it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Down. Put it down. Put it down. Do you want to hear the answers again, Anthony? Yes, please. Okay. So who cashed in on Roman to win the WWE Championship at Survivor Series 2015? Uh, yeah. A, Dean Ambrose. B, Randy Orton. C, Dolph Ziggler. D, Sheamus. Don't show him your answer, Jimmy. Don't you do it. You could win this if he doesn't get it right. If he does, there's a tiebreaker. Come on now. This all right, is ready? for all the marbles. Here we go. The answer, we have Seamus, we have Seamus, we have Orton. The answer and new trivia champion, Jimmy Corderas, because Seamus oh, was the champion. He cashed in on Roman to become the new champion. Jimmy. So my, my strategy <laughs> there was to answer D for every question, and it finally worked out at the end that I got one right. There you go. It's uh, it's like in it's like in school where you're just like, there has to be a pattern here. Just one trying to fill answers. multiple choice. Right. Yeah. So uh, Jim, a word the, from the champion, Jimmy Corderas. Um, I'd like to thank uh, those who, no, nobody voted for me, so that doesn't work. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll think of something uh, later. I'll present. I'll do my speech when I present my trivia oh, next week. Okay. I'm excited. That's, that's nice. That's fair. Okay, why don't okay. we just do the tie break again? Because we're all yeah. just having such a yeah, good man. time over here. Sure. Uh, it, Anthony, I'm I'm very sorry. I know that you. No, you're be, not. You're not you, sorry at all. I, I am. You know, I am. I'm I'm, I'm a little broken <clears> up over this one because I know you are. Uh, let's try the tiebreaker. 1997, like I mentioned, awesome year for wrestling. Awesome year for the Slammies. In fact, mm-hmm. everybody had a good time. Remember Owen Hart stealing the best bow tie award. Oh, my goodness. Great great stuff. Shawn Michaels was nominated the most out of anybody at that year's Slammys. How many times was Michaels nominated at the 1997 Slammy Awards? How many nominations did H.B.K. Garner? Hmm, That's a good question. 
Yeah, yeah wait, wait a second. The fifth question wasn't slimy related. Yeah. It, <laughs> it, there was a tie in to the slammies. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. um, okay. I struggled with the last year of the slammies because there wasn't a whole lot of interesting stuff going on. So I just had to do a tie in. That's why that happened. Uh, okay. So let's see the answers. What do we have here? Go ahead. Six. Eight, six. Wow. Well, it's a good thing it didn't have to come down to the tiebreaker because <laughs> uh, Anthony and Jimmy, you you guys tied because the answer is seven. Closest without oh, wow. going over. Uh, wow. Michaels, he won match of the year, as we mentioned, versus Brett. He mm-hmm. won best finisher. Sweet shit music. Right. Uh, and he was nommed for match of the year in two different matches. Uh, best finisher, like mm-hmm. we mentioned. Best tattoo. Best dressed. Best hair and star of the highest magnitude, which I can only imagine Vince McMahon wow. came up with that award because star of the highest magnitude. Highest magnitude. Yeah, yes. yeah it's got to be. Uh, next up, uh, Austin was nominated six times, Taker five times, Brett and Mankind also five times. Nice. So there you have it. The 1997 Slammys, really good. Slammy award <laughs> trivia. <clears throat> and the Slammy for best <clears throat> trivia this week goes to Jimmy Corderas. Well done. And Jimmy yeah, yeah. Thank you. Man. University that year. Ah, ah, 90, really? Ninety-seven, yeah. Ninety-seven. <clears throat> Slam, Slammys weren't a course, I imagine. Interesting. Uh, no. No. I wrote. I did write a paper. I wrote a paper at school about wrestling, and I may have mentioned the Slammy Awards in it. Very nice. I can <laughs> ah, only imagine that paper was given a plus plus plus. It was given a very good mark because my professor had no idea what wrestling was, and he learned a lot from my paper. Perfect. Uh, how did you guys? Just How to did give you, you guys a, a quick heads up here. Yeah, please. Seeing as it. It, it, I will Hit be hosting up. trivia next week, uh, since it's the holiday season, it may tie in with that. I haven't decided yet because this is still fresh, but uh, hey, just letting you know. I love it. He's, he's already got the gears turning in his head. He's ready to go. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching this week. How did you do? You got to let us know. Hit us up in the comments on YouTube below and hit up Jimmy Corderas on Twitter. Tell us how you did. Did you beat Jimmy? Jimmy, our champion, by the way. Did you beat Jimmy? You got to let us know. Hashtag Ask Aftermath. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in this week. Jimmy's got trivia next week. How are we going to do? It might be hard. It might be holiday related. We'll see you next week.